Hello everyone, this is Silver Praetorian, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Last time, we have failed for the second time against Mr. Vile here on his third level minigame in our attempt to get the... This will be our ninth Jiggy for the world, with the tenth being the Jinjo Jiggy. Let me try again. Come on, Reds. Red Team rules! Just kidding! Yellows. He can turn on a freaking dime, that jerk. Okay. Turn again. Let's go over here. Grab you and you. And you. Yes! Last second victory, folks! Thank you, thank you all. <sighs> thank you, Mr. Vile. I'm going to take my... If Greeny not scared, you must win the next three games to win three extra lives, but each time chumps you for one life. Yeah, no, I, I do not... That, that sounds like a very, very stupid idea, Mr. Vile. I'm just going to take my G and run. Ooh, Mumbo took him. We need to start clicking these up again, because Mumbo is in the fifth world as well, so... Um, I think there's some stuff behind the croc, so the rest of this world is just going to be gathering up the remaining Jinjos and notes, and then we're pretty much done here. And I get to show you guys the little secret, which I already opened up. Anyway, let's see... There was... Yep, there are some notes. It's health too. I do enjoy how the health just likes to chill there. Once you kill the enemy, it just chills there till you need it. Let's grab these, and this will put us at 91, and we need 9 more. So I think there's one more place where we have 5 on a wall, and then 4 somewhere. We have to check behind the croc, I think. Or not the croc, the um, turtle tank top, because I don't think I grabbed... Did I grab the thing behind there? I don't remember. Let's go check. He is... This way, I think. Uh, tank top's over there, but let's just go over here since this is closer for now. Some eggs... Yeah, there's some notes. And a couple mumbo tokens. And a ginger. Well, this has been productive. And I think yep, there are notes over there, too. So there is... One Jinjo left. Let's keep moving. There are all the notes, too. Awesomely done, Banjo. Awesomely done. Wow. This might be the first time I don't have to spend a video searching for items. That'll be awesome. Uh, Trying not to lose my bearings with this camera angle. Anyway, let's see. Over here. We can keep moving, and there's Tank Top. I think the final Jinjo is behind Tank Top, but I don't remember for sure. Anyway, we're about to find out, and yes, he was. And I think this will be Bubble Boop Swamp 100% complete. Alright then, let's just double check. Notes, G. Yep, that's everything. And only 28 minutes. Nicely done, Banjo. Nicely done. Alright, let's get the heck out of Dodge. World entrance was over here. That's nice. This world went by very smooth. I hope the rest of them go like that. Or, I hope at least Rusty Bucket Bay goes like that. Having Rusty Bucket Bay be smooth would be awesome. Probably have to keep tweaking with my audio settings because 
I'm still trying to learn all the programs I'm working with here, so these are kind of, as I do each set, I've been tweaking with the settings a bit, trying to get them better, so if you guys have noticed, like, edit, um, varying quality and such, that's probably the reason why. Anyway, just take the croc out back here, since he's small enough to fit in that hole we've already opened, which, you can't actually use your bite attack to open it, you have to hit it as Banjo and Kazooie with, like, either her peck or the... Um, smash thing where you hold Z and you press B where they lunge forward. Yeah, I I, I don't know what all the moves are called. <laughs> I should probably look into that. Anyway, what's this? Cheeto, the spellbook you have found. Magic cheats I have for you. Bring. What did you say? You better not give my spells away. Yes, this is Rentilda's spellbook. By finding him, he gives you access to cheat codes. How you access the cheat codes is you have to go back to Treasure Trove Cove and enter them on the floor of the sandcastle. And considering I have enough time, I should be able to just do that this video. And I was paying attention, so what spell did you tell us, Cheeto? Blue eggs. Alright. So now, since I do have the time, I feel... yeah. That was weird. But yeah, since I have time right now, I'm actually going to head off to Treasure Trove Cove and show you what that does. Um, the codes that Cheeto gives you aren't cheat codes in the strictest sense, they're just helpful. Um, the most helpful is, mm, well, Blue Eggs isn't the most helpful, probably Gold Feathers would be very useful, and Red Feathers is pretty useful as well. Anyway, let's keep moving. Head back to the start, and grab that, activate that cheat code. Um, let's see, where are the other cheat books? I know there's one by the portrait for the sixth world. Oh, we won't actually be able to get that till the seventh world. Uh, but where is the last one? Yeah, Mumbo Magic get weak. Mumbo Magic run out. Thanks, Mumbo, for your help. It was a pleasure. Try not to think about turning people into animals just to skin them. Because that's me. Alright. There is Grunty without the top to her hat. And... By falling in there, we would be able to get to that Jiggy. As soon as we figure out how to fall in there. We probably won't see that till the next video, to be honest, folks. Meanwhile, let's go over here, back into Treasure Trove Cove. I don't remember if the sandcastle stays... Like, uh, floods back up every time we enter and exit the world. And if we have to fill Leaky back up in order to fill back up. Because for the most part, the worlds reset whenever you exit and enter them. So let's go find out. And it did. So let's go see Leaky. Jump the grab. But yeah, this is the other reason why Treasure Trove Cove is the most thought of Banjo Kazooie world. You travel back here often enough to do these spells that it is the most seen world. Alright, so Leaky has been patched up, so let's go back down there and see. Alright, so the code was Blue Eggs. And he is still free, so we should kill that crab first. Um, actually, you know, I was curious. Last time I was here, I wondered if we just... I know for a fact you have to hit him twice with a normal attack to flip him over. But I wonder if we're able to just kill him now. Ah, no. Interesting. Oh, th that's bad. That's bad. You're di you die now. Grab these honeycomb pieces, even though I don't need them anymore. Alright, the code was blue eggs. So there's B... Where's L? L, 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 L. E, U, E. 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 G, G, S. Where's the S? S, 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 S. Um, over here? There it is. And what it does is double our maximum eggs, and when we first do it, it maxes us out. That lousy cheat for extra eggs won't help bird and bear and Wow. 
Nicely done, Grunty. Nicely done. Um, I still have some time left. Uh, actually, no, I don't really. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. This has been Silver Victorian with Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. We've managed to finish up um, Bubble Gloop Swamp and activate our first quote unquote cheat code. Doubling our maximum egg supply. I will see you guys all later. Have fun till then.